Oh, I have no idea what day it is. It's Friday, but I think it's what the 26th, 27th of January. Back out and trying to figure out what to do today. I was sitting in the chair sleeping, so I decided to come out and uh, get me out of the picture. Come out and work on this because I was like, well, you know, the, the bolt that that bolts the tank and carburetor to the block too small so when I was going to try to put a, the part that covers up this put on but it wouldn't fit so I went to start it and ran fine until I messed with the the throttle then it started you know chugging so I took the air filter off of course me putting too much I put too much oil in the filter but I put it back on and it still ran bad. So here's the well the top and the bottom that came with the new filter. So it, it I took when I got ahead and put the the original air filter housing back on it with the new filter in it. Um that filter's ugh, not good. I was going to put that on that and put the new one on that. Like, nope. My lawnmower is going to have the best. The new one. I mean, uh, I, cl I did clean it. I did take the rag and I pulled it out and doing, you know, doing this in the rag. It's a lot better than what it was. So. And, and I did start it, which I should have done it on video and I didn't. The Honda hasn't been started yet. But I went and gone ahead and started it and so it's good. I drained out all the the oil mixed gas. It's got regular gas in it. I pulled all these wheels off and oiled them. That way it rolls. Plus now I can adjust the deck. I did the same thing with the Honda last weekend. I think last Saturday I did it. But there was one wheel on the Honda I didn't do because I couldn't get it off. Plus the wind. The wind... It's the temperature just was starting to get to me and I didn't want to I just I wanted to give up on it. So I guess we'll put you down on the ground. We'll, we'll guess we'll get a cold start on the hunt. Um on the Facebook marketplace there is a uh well there was. I don't know what happened to it. Uh it's gotta still be on there. There is a on the power washer, same motor, got a brand new carburetor on it and air filter, okay? Now, I know what you're thinking, swap motors, no, that's not what I was going to do, was going to, I was going to take the carburetor, buy it, because I offered him $40, and that's what he wanted for it, and he went down to 35 but I offered him 40 told him, Ask them, well, you know, could we meet, you know, in the area I wanted to meet in. He's like, he messaged me back this morning that says, uh, I'll have to pass on that. Maybe $5 for meeting me where I wanted to meet at was too low. That's all I have. Well, anywho, what I was going to do is I was going to take the top off of that one, put it on this one, so this top can go back on the other one. Gas tank. Put it on this one. Uh, carburetor, air filter, air, air filter housing, all the gaskets on this one. Fuel switch on this one. Fuel lines on this one. And then that means I don't need this anymore because it has it has a switch right here, the kill switch, which means if I did all that. Uh, the way I, I think I was looking at it right, this would have to come off. That means the flywheel would have to come off so I can pull the brake off. But that's what I want to do. I've been talking to this guy trying to offer him trades for the last, I don't know, week and a half. And I finally offered him money. I got my chainsaw for sale. So if it sells before he sells it, 
Maybe I can offer him a little bit more. I don't know. I'm hoping to have the chainsaw sold possibly Tuesday, by Tuesday. I don't know when it sells itself. The only reason why I want to sell it is because oops, in the way. Um, I'm not using it. And honestly, I think it needs to go to somebody that's going to use it. But I'm asking 80. Lowest I would go is probably, I don't know, 70. If it doesn't sell with, if it's not sold by next Friday, I'm just going to take it off and just keep it. Then I can say I got a chainsaw. So anyway, I should do it today. I don't feel like doing it. Go ahead and list the, um... the Toro and get that out of here. There was a guy about 30 miles north, yeah, north of here, had three lawnmowers and I think a weed eater. A couple, you know, two cycle weed eaters he said he'd be $30 for. But I don't have a truck. He'd have to actually have to deliver it. I'm trying to get into, well, I'm trying to get back into the lawnmower business, but I'm not going to have a whole lot. Right? Got to think into that. And I was like, well, what if I need parts? I don't have them parts. I'd have to order them. If I don't have the money, I can't order them. So, I guess I well, I'm not going to do it. The guy said he'd take 30. I told him I said I'd trade him the chainsaw. Okay, well, I guess. Then there was another guy on there. Which is still one there. Before I even got these two. Um, that had. I think five or six horsepower brigs. He has a couple engines. He's got. Two. Five horsepowers. Or they might be three. And then he has a power washer. With a three and a half on it. What I was trying to do was trying to trade him. Of course the chainsaw off. And I was going to put one of those on the, um, the, one of the bigger ones on my Toro. Now that I turned the fuel on, I smell like gas. Hope it's not loading up. But then he hit, he wouldn't trade. He wants $50 for the lot. But now that I got what, you know, I got something, you know, got what I want now, I really don't need them. That's why I haven't offered him anything yet. I hope it ain't leaking. Uh, it's leaking fuel. We developed a leak. Yeah, that's gas. Yeah. Well, I guess let's see if you'll run. Son of a biscuit. It makes kind of irritates me even more because now I really need it.
develop the fuel leak and it fling. Well, maybe that wasn't oil. It looked like it was flinging something. The only thing I can think of that the gas is coming from could be the float. Oh. I, I knew as soon as I turned that fuel on and within seconds I started smelling it. You know, I smell something burning too now. The long socket. I don't think that, uh, let's see, I think a 13 is too big, yeah. Yeah, but y'all know I've worked hard on both of these. It's too small. No, no recent oil leak. But yeah, I'm trying to get into the business of flipping, just flipping anything I can, I can get. Make some extra money. Instead of always doing the same. Yeah, see, none of these sockets I have out here fit. do need to do is get my black Stanley sockets gathered up again since I don't have the little plastic thing that it came in anymore wasn't really tight okay it wasn't really tight so turn the fuel back on if you will make an happener like Derek calls it, let's see, it starts leaking again. Then pretty soon I have to get cleaned up. I'm gonna go out today. Instead, I washed the prices right this morning. Fell asleep through during that a little bit. And news came on. Fell asleep during during that a little bit. And and like right at the end of the price is right and I woke up and I won't go back to sleep and I was like, well, I need to do something other than sleep in the chair. So I probably total probably slept at least 30 minutes. So then I came out here getting kind of hungry. Now, I know it's past lunchtime, it's probably about 2 o'clock. Yeah, see now it's not leaking, or is it? I have no idea. But yeah, it started out that I was gonna come out and check on the Honda, and then oh yeah, it's leaking somewhere because I just picked up the mower and it just. It immediately started leaking, but it's not leaking. I have no idea. It's leaking into the cover now. But hey, it, it runs. I'm, you know what? I'm thinking. I may go ahead and bring it. Bring it. I may go ahead and just change out this motor anyway. Just because I don't have the parts to fix it. I mean, I don't know why it's leaking. 
And then you get the one bolt on the valve cover that won't tighten. It's leaking fuel. And the freaking toggle switch. So. The fuel's back on. It's not leaking now. Yeah, I went to do this. A bunch of gas just dripped out. Uh, you yeah. know. I don't know. I mean, they'll wait. I need to make a decision soon before I do go back up to where the lawnmower engines are stored. And the throttle on this don't like it. Don't like the throttle up either. And I know the other Honda, the throttle gets stuck. So if I'm, you know, change motors and put a brakes on this deck, then I could use this engine to fix the other one. Seems like every time when I get a Honda for myself, it turns out to be junk. I, I had one that was good years ago, probably about oh, 10 years ago, close to that. It was real nice. I never really used it. I always used the, the brakes. Except when I had to go mow a lot of grass at one time, I used the Honda, but then I ended up selling it. So we're going to end that video right there. And well, Like always, thanks for watching. Keep your eye out for more content. You know what? We need to do some computer videos. We need to get back into that again. I've been messing, messed with some yesterday. Uh, trying to run Vista on a compact Passario V2000. It says it's designed for Vista compatible. It's designed for Windows XP, but... Compatible with Windows Vista. I was just I don't want to have one of those days. I guess On a day during the week it's raining and cold or snowy or one of those two things Got nothing going on. Maybe I will mess with I don't see that thing. I don't have anything new here I'll have to bring something back from Pennsylvania that we could do a video on I don't know. I might find a Thinking about maybe an old Dell Pentium 4. I got a couple of those. A two, three. Maybe the third one. Third one might be a Pentium 3. Hmm. So yeah, I take some of my laptops here back and set my old Toshiba. And then maybe I'll bring back something old that we can you know, fiddle around with. Maybe try Windows 2000. That's not bad. Windows 2000 on a Pentium 4. Hmm. Might have got something there. So anyways, keep an eye out for more content from the shed. We haven't been in the little trailer in a while. We may go in here here in a minute. So thanks for watching it. If you have come, please leave one and subscribe.